a, a couple prayers in the student center, and after that we'll walk out the double doors to the reception. But before we begin, and, and French is going to kick us off, but I wanted to invite forward all the founding members of All Saints. If you were at All Saints before me, come up front. Oh, here we go, here we go. These, these folks all predate me, and we're, we're, we're all here because of them. Wait, let's uh, get a picture. He's old enough to be up in here before me. Oh, all right, we need a picture of that. Short people in front. <laughs> Jerry. Charles. Jerry. 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 <laughs> All these folks have been members of All Saints for more than 17 years. So give them a round of applause. Deborah, Libby. It looks like we're training too. Yeah. I was choreographed. Here comes Ginger. Libby. There we go. There we go. Uh, All right, we got a picture? Not yet. Oh, they keep coming up. All you young people get out of the way. <laughs> All right. Is it good? I see everybody but okay. Charles. Don't yell at me. I'd like to... Uh, Putting together this program I actually looked at the program we did for uh, dedicating the land 12 years ago, and uh, and we opened uh, when we dedicated land with remarks from the chairman of the building program, which was Dave Wardell. Uh, the chairman of this building program is uh, French Bell. And French, you want to share a few words before we begin? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get another picture when he gets up here. I'm, I'm going to keep it real, real brief. We had a, a building committee. I was going to read you all the names, but I think we're running short of time. The building committee met, and we hired an architect. Uh, after this, and then we hired a contractor, Tomko. The, the representatives are here today. We had some hiccups with the county on permitting and weather, but they worked real hard and we almost made this deadline. But I uh, want to thank everybody for their help and support. RC and Ed Hayworth were in the financing of this thing. Uh, we appreciate everybody being here. All right, well, let's uh, we'll begin with the Litany for Church on page uh, one of your bulletins. God the Father, creator of heaven and earth. Have mercy, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, Sanctifier of the faithful. Have, have mercy on us. Holy, blessed, and glorious Trinity, one God. Have, have mercy on us. O Christ the rock on which your people as living stones joined together grow into a spiritual house. Defend your church, we pray. O Christ the vine of which your people are the branches. Defend your church, we pray. Christ, the head of the body of which your people are the members. Defend your church, we pray. Christ, our prophet, you teach the way of God in truth. Defend your church, we pray. Christ, our priest, you offered yourself upon the cross and now make intercession for us to the Father. Defend your church, we pray. Christ, our king, you reign over all the earth and make us citizens of your heavenly kingdom. Defend your church, we pray. Christ, you sent the Holy Spirit upon the church, clothing it with power from on high. Defend your church, we pray. Pray to you, Lord Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be devoted to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will fulfill your promise to be with us always, even to the ages of ages. Lord, hear our prayer. 
you will sustain all members of your holy church that in our vocation and ministry may truly and devoutly serve you. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will bless the clergy of your church that they may diligently preach the gospel and faithfully celebrate the holy sacraments. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will heal the divisions in your church that all may be one even as you and the Father are one. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray, saying together, let your continual mercy, O Lord, cleanse and defend your church. Because it cannot continue in safety without your help, protect and govern it always by your goodness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Well, I think you guys have heard enough to me today. <laughs> so I'll keep it quick. Uh, isn't this great? Isn't this yeah, wonderful? Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. give a round of applause to these guys who've worked so hard. Yeah, bring them down. Let me get a picture of them. They want to get a picture of you guys. <laughs> things that um, is exciting to me and for me about this is you built this for the people that aren't here yet. Yep. Right? So keep that in mind as you celebrate today and also as you move in in a, in a few weeks um, that God has bigger purposes and he wants you guys to use this for his glory. So I'm going to keep it that brief. Um, we're going to have the blessing now. I need to uh, scoot through here. Thank you. A little holy oil. Mess up the paint job. <laughs> Thank you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, your faithful people gather together today to dedicate this improved and expanded parish hall to your honor and to your glory. Bless, we pray, this facility in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May our fellowship be rich in joy as we journey together in this life, as we break bread, as we study scripture, as we pray, and as we share. Amen. Amen. Now let's make our way together to the double doors over into the, uh, the great room in the seat walls. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Archbishop. There you go. in the buildings, such will be out there, but you can come look at things and, and ask questions of folks on the building committee, like uh, French and RC and or Steve, wave oh, your hand, Steve. And, and, and uh, of course, Jessica's been very involved in designs. If you want any particular questions, happy to answer. Um, Gus Davis in the kitchen. I was saying that Archbishop Foley, part of the expanded parish hall is a new and larger kitchen and a dedicated room to the flower guild. Because as clergy, I know if the women aren't happy, I can't keep my job. So therefore, they get nice spaces too. So anyway, we'll continue with the blessing of this facility. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the people who have contributed their talents to this building. Visionaries, benefactors, designers, contractors, decorators, and intercessors. May they be blessed abundantly in their lives. Amen. Amen. We thank you, Father. We ask you, Father, to bless and sanctify this building where Christian fellowship and discipleship will be fostered. May the teachers who work within these walls share a passion for you and for our students. May the young people who come here grow in their knowledge and in their love of you. Amen. 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 Heavenly Father, we're reminded that you filled the temple, that you filled the temple King Solomon built for you with your Shekinah glory. Fill this space with that same presence. We pray that you will touch all who enter here and forever mark them as your own. We ask this in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now may the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Well, we began this project a year and a half ago. We asked the Lord to give us a scripture. He gave us Psalm 87, verses 5, 6, and 7. I'll read those and then we'll go. God established a testimony in Jacob and he appointed his law in Israel and he commanded the fathers to teach their children that the next generation might know that the children yet unborn shall rise and tell the great works of God to their children and not forget the works of God, but keep His commandment. That's what this is about. Those who are going to follow Jesus, we will teach them, they will hear, and they will tell the next generation. Amen? Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord, eat ice cream, and have coffee. Amen. Amen. Amen.